hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video i am going to be making moi 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 is a nigerian delicacy made from black eyed peas and um, i just want to show you how i was able to achieve this meal so this video was inspired by Sisi Yemi Sisi Yemi is a food and lifestyle blog in Nigeria and I saw her ramekin mold moi moi and I decided to make mine it's been a long time I made moi moi but um, I got inspired again because of Sisi Yemi's moi moi and I decided to make this so for this recipe what you've been needing is black eyed peas some eggs, paprika, scotch bonnet peppers, onions, vegetable oil and vegetable stock seasoning. I love to use vegetable stock seasoning. I hardly use bouillon cubes and um, I use ginger as well. I love the taste of ginger in my meals and I use ginger for this moi moi as well. So the reason why I have not made moi moi for the longest time is because peeling the beans is an uphill task for me so um from to see this video i got a trick on how to do that very fast and i'll be showing you that in a minute so all i did was just to put my beans in water and i let it sit for a while after that i put that in my blender i blended my beans on low speed and voila my peels were out completely so all i needed to do was just to wash three times you know with water and run it through my sieve and then i got out all of the shaft or the pills whatever you guys call it so it was super easy the only trick you need when trying to get your beans off is to make sure that you put in a whole lot of water in your blender so if you have one part of beans you want to make sure that you have two part of water added to it to achieve that smooth blend and you know so that it can just peel off nicely so now it's time to blend our beans and peppers together so i started by blending my beans first before i blended the peppers and onions and i just mixed it up together in a bowl and you want to make sure that you are doing this with a very good blender so that you can get the best results if your blender is not so good this is a test test of a good blender i tell you the truth trust me you need a good blender for this i have lost a blender because of blending beans before so you really need a very strong one like the icebreakers are the ones that you would need for this so it's time to stir and to mix all of the condiments in so that you have you know your your moi moi tasting perfectly i'm just putting in my salt at this point i'm going to go ahead and put my vegetable stock seasoning i don't use bouillon cubes like i said earlier um yeah for personal reasons so this is what i've been using for like all of my meals everything that i cook this is what i use i just put in a dash of um aromand and that works for me and a bit of salt so this is basically the seasonings that i use apart from you know my spices and herbs that i use in building up the taste of my food so aromant going in right now so i stir this properly and don't forget that for this recipe i'm showing you two different types of moi moi that i made um one is the baked in with ramekin moi moi that i made and then the second one is the tinned moi moi our traditional our nigerian signature tinned moi moi <laughs> you want to make sure you put in as, as much spices as you need and tasting as you go i put in my vegetable oil at this point as well once you're sure that your mix tastes just the way you like it it's time to pour out your mix into your ramekin molds or dishes whatever you guys call it so i got these dishes from amazon if you like i'll leave you a link at this point what i'll say is just make sure that you don't fill this up to the brim like i did with the first one you know why because your moimoi needs space to kind of increase 
when it cooks then it increases in size so you just want to make room for that i made a mistake with the first one as you can see and when it gets cooked you see that it got filled to the brim so you don't want to have that you just want to make sure that the, there's enough space for it to rise yeah so after filling up your molds you want to make sure that you put in water in your pan before you put this in the in the oven um at this point i'll just say that you can either bake this or steam it in a pot whichever way works for you that your moimo is going to turn out nicely but this is the first time i'm baking this and i just wanted to know how it would taste if it tasted different and i tell you the truth it just tastes as good as your good old moimo the ones you make in either polythene bags or the ones you made in the leaves i'm not sure about that because the leaf ones they are heavenly those ones are super special but this gives you the real taste of moimoi there's nothing it doesn't taste really different it just tastes just as good as any moimoi you'd be eating so at this point i also just went ahead to put in my egg toppings on top and if you want to use fish do you if you want to use both fish and eggs feel free to do that i had only eggs at home for this meal so that's why i'm using just eggs i love to eat moi moi with fish as well so if you like to have fish in yours feel free to do that so once you're done with that you just want to cover the top of your pan with aluminium foil and get it ready for the oven so once i was done with that and putting that in the oven i started to prepare my tinned moi moi so for the tin moi moi, I just used cashew nut tins that we had bought and eaten. So I just made sure I washed them thoroughly. And this will be the first and last time I'll be using the tins. So there's no scare of um, rust or whatever um, fear you might have in your mind. I just um, washed them and got them ready. So I really wanted to... <laughs> replicate the moi moi the way i remembered it from when i was much younger um so for this part i used palm oils and i would have really loved to use fish as well but i didn't have fish so i just made the moi moi like that but it was the same mix from the ramekin ones the only difference is that i used palm oil for this i really wanted to taste that palm oil taste you know so it was palm oil i used for this instead of um vegetable oil um i don't know my memory of the tin moi moi is with palm oil not vegetable oil i don't know if your if your story is different but for me it's palm oil so that's why i had to use palm oil for this part of my recipe so after filling up my my tins with the bean paste i just um put it in a pot i steamed this one and there's something i did i used um newspaper to cover the top of my pot don't ask me why this was what i saw growing up i don't know why <laughs> but there's a taste or there's an aroma that comes with if we know your moi moi when you use the newspaper if you've had the newspaper experience please just leave me a comment at the comment section but i don't know why but i wanted to use the newspaper so if you choose to do the steaming just make sure that you put just as much water as you need don't put too much water you have you can always top up the water as it cooks and because if you have too much water then water might go into your moi moi so just put as much water as you need per time. So after about 40, 45 minutes, my moi moi is ready whoa look at this deliciousness guys this moi moi tasted even more delicious than it looks i tell you the truth wow mm. 
yummy goodness you all need to try this moi moi you all need to try this moi moi and it tastes completely i don't know like different from the moi moi you'd have in polythene bags or the moi moi you'd have in the leaves and i totally love the ramekins and i'll be using them for sure next time the tinned moi moi tasted just as delicious as well so I finally quenched my craving for moi moi and it was worth all of the troubles. So thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you all for the support on my channel. If you want me to make food videos like this one, feel free to leave me a comment and you would have me post once in a while some African dishes, some particularly Nigerian dishes as well. So give this moi moi a try. I ate my moi moi with gari and it was so delicious so so delicious you all want to try this so feel free to replicate this feel free to make this moi moi if you want to order the ramekins i'll leave you a a link at the description box feel free to do it your way to give it your own twist and enjoy so thank you all for watching do not forget that it works if you work it i'll see you in my next one bye Let's <laughs> go.